<laughs> I'm uncomfortable now. Yeah, see? <laughs> Not as uncomfortable as me and Hot Wings and Zane will be in a second, though, because today oh, is okay. the 10th anniversary of, uh, roughly, it was June 24th when we, when we actually started the first day on 105.7 The Hawk back in 2002. Uh, and, and, you know, somewhat ironically, we're starting on Quick Rock 105.9 in State College and 96.3 The Blaze in Montana. We can pencil in some 10-year uh, anniversary shows there in a decade, yep. if we make it. Uh, we'll do our best. But uh, Zane found the audio from our very first show on 105.7 The Hawk, and Steve is delighted in the opportunity in the last 24 hours to be the one who got to screen it and pull the audio for us to hear. Now, Hot Wing, Zane, and I, literally none of us have heard these things that are about to, we're nope. about to hear no. since they went through our headphones when they were happening live. Yep. Right. Because we made the tape, didn't listen. Yep, the no, tape no. went, it, it recorded the, all the uh, segments of us talking, and then stopped it and put it in a box, and it hadn't been touched for 10 years. <laughs> It'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe's Joe. very excited. Joe, have you yeah. previewed anything? No. Okay. You okay. didn't? I've only heard, I'm Eric Zane. And you've seen, <laughs> and you've seen the uh, titles of the segments, so you kind of have an idea what's coming up. Right. Okay. All right. All right, Joe. Well, you're in charge. Give yeah. us the first, uh, first yeah. clip. What, what's, what's going on with, with Cut One? What is it? Uh, Cut One. Set us up. First break ever on the Hawk. Keg ready and crank up the fry daddy. For the Jersey Shore's newest morning show, here's free beer and hot wings. And a very good morning to you. Yeah! We're on the Jersey Shore. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We have a job! We're here! Ah! I won't have to live in a bar with my family. <laughs> Hold on. Good morning to you. Oh my god, you sounded like Joe Namath. <laughs> to you? <laughs> Did you try to kiss Susie Colbert after that? Jeez. Don't, don't ask me. I don't know, man. I was probably drunk. <laughs> <laughs> to you? We're on the Jersey Shore. That's I like nice. It. I am free beer. Part of the Free Bear and Hot Wings show. Hot Wings is here. He doesn't have his stuff together. In fact, he has all his stuff in storage still. Somewhere yeah. in Nepal, that's pretty sweet. At least for, for once, I have a reason not to have my stuff together. You know? <laughs> Eric Zane. <laughs> can, can, can we all agree collectively that that wasn't nearly funny enough to evoke that sort of reaction? <laughs> it's like Brad Pitt, Fight Club. <laughs> you don't know where I've been. <laughs> oh, my God. For once, I have a reason not to have my stuff together. You know? <laughs> Eric oh. Zane here, too, part of the show. Eric Zane probably be fired by the end of the day, so you'll only have to keep two of us straight. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, so don't is, even worry about remembering him. We've been here for 20 minutes and his this longest time on a job continuously in three years. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. We are excited to be here on the Jersey Shore. We've got a huge giveaway for you with the Hawk. I'm telling you, it's going to be the surf and turf madness. We'll tell you about that as the time comes up, okay? Well, we got some classic rock to do. Oh, okay? That's right. It's ACDC. You shook me all night long. On the new 105.7 The Hawk, where classic rock lives. So basically, we, we did nothing for them to get to know us. We basically just, no. I, well, I did. I was clearly the idiot, screaming and yelling and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, so, I was, and I was the joke smith. Okay. Yeah. And then you, we yeah. talked for like one minute and went right to The Rock. Yep. I yeah. set the table. <laughs> okay. By the way, did you hear that? There was a moment, this is pretty inside, but when I said, and we will have that when the time comes. Did you catch that, how long that was? Yeah. You know what that was? That was the first time running the board and not knowing where the button was to make something go. Okay. That's what that was. That yeah. was, I don't know where things are. Okay. Yeah. So basically Feeling nothing around. to talk about other than the giveaway. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm Break sure it gets number. better. Joe, what's Yep. Next? Number two, the phone number and some jokes. <laughs> oh. He thinks. Oh, no. That was hurtful. <laughs> oh, boy. Just Eight, the way you said that. 866-251-1057. That phone number, it's kind of like the frequency for the station, you see. Weird. Mm. That's weird how that works. Coming up in about 20 minutes, we're going to tell you about the Free Bear and Hot Wings surf and turf madness. Could include two new modes of transportation for you and your friends. Oh, my God. You're going to dig it. Take it is three so awesome. if you want to drag someone behind each of the various things, but that's uh. up to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to say the F word at myself. <laughs> Please explain the joke. <laughs> there, is a, there isn't a joke. I, yeah, I don't even know where to go back to. Yeah. <laughs> to hear it again. Well, guys, you see, there's always... No. Is that... <laughs>
<laughs> okay. So it's drag your friends behind yeah. behind the vehicles. Is yeah. what you're saying. Okay. That was. Oh, it's a racist joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasn't there? A, yeah, there was some terrible story in the news. In the, not at that time. No, no, no. That no, was no. A, no. Yeah, you wouldn't have done it that way. No. You, I mean, that wasn't intentional that no. you were being racist. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win. All right. It was so no, stupid. No. I can't win. Okay, Joe, what's next? Uh, two minutes in and free beer and hot wings already take a shot at Southerners. Oh, <gasps> okay. Now, hold on a second. We need, we, need to, uh, we need to set this up so that this isn't so devastating to the audience that actually listens to the South. Now, <laughs> we had just left the South, okay? So maybe a bit of bitterness, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Certainly. Okay. Yeah. Well, considering it was two years of being told, hey, we knew you were Yankees when we hired you, yeah. but don't talk because you're a Yankee. Okay. Yeah. So this is 10 years old. So please don't hold it against us. Now, now, excited, now I'm up tight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're excited to be here. We were down in the South for a couple of years, so we're excited to be somewhere again where people uh, oh. understand English. Oh! Oh! We're happy to be on the Vulcan. Uh, Knoxville, Nashville, Asheville, South Carolina. Welcome back. <laughs> I guess there won't be any 10th anniversary shows in those markets. Okay, well, that's, uh, we're going to have to pay somebody back for that one. I can't believe that show said that. You know? Yeah, I can't believe that that happened. What, what, what else is there, Joe? Zane and Hot Wings explain their living conditions. Okay. My Sorry. apartment consists of uh, uh, a girlfriend, <laughs> right? three animals... And uh, an air mattress. <laughs> He's sleeping on an air mattress. He said it was oh a God. life raft. What an idiot. Well, that's, yeah, that's what it is. I mean, you don't even have an air mattress. You have an actual raft. It's like a big oh, yeah. raft, you know, like a fun raft. Did you have to pull the fuse island. and it blew up inside the apartment? Like, well, it's it. It. No, it's He's not like, that good. I have to blow it up by, by mouth. <laughs> you have Wilson the volleyball in there, too? <laughs> I wish that I'd have something else to do, you know? I mean, I go home and it's like, oh, well, this is great. I got, you know, a girlfriend and three pets. You think you got a bed. I'm living with the boss and the Russian uh, neighbor next door, some hot chick. We think she's a stripper, thinks we're gay. <laughs> <laughs> so she's fairly into it yeah, so she understands no. things. <laughs> Don't start us off on a bad foot. Uh -huh. uh, <sighs> by the way, I doubt it's included, but it wouldn't be long until Zane brought that woman's underwear from the laundry room and put them oh on. My God. <laughs> That's a true story. He stole them out of the garbage, brought them in and said, hey, these are hers. <laughs> right over his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, where man. you got that wart on your nose. Oh. <laughs> it's a VG. It's VG. It's been there for 10 years. Russian VD. Dude, herpes for life. She was a Chernobyl girl. <laughs> Jesus. Joe, how does this feel knowing that you have. Are, are completely safe. I like it. The next, it's this awesome. Second. <laughs> we, got, we got this email from Joe. Normally I hear you guys and think that there's some natural talent and you guys have worked really hard, but now listening to this, I know anyone can do it. Yay for every man. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Oh, God. Is this almost over? No. There's like 40 more <laughs> clips, isn't there? Uh, this is a, uh, a okay. trip over to the sports desk with Eric Zane. Oh, including no. Including a heartfelt report about a baseball player's death. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, we just passed it. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't remember any of it, and I don't even remember doing sports. I did sports? A trip to the sports desk. Oh, God. Can't wait. Oh. Whoa. Nice. Listen to that big. This is time for sports. <laughs> The new 1057, the Hawk, partly cloudy, hot, hazy, chance of a late day thunderstorm, high around 90. Straight up seven, uh, 6 o'clock, time for your Hawk update. I'm Eric Zane. Body was found over the weekend by a fishing crew about 30 miles off Manasquan over the weekend. Authorities feel it may very well be one of the missing Long Island fishermen that vanished on June 15th. Why did we Testimony do this? Testimony continues in an Ocean County courtroom this week in the trial of Barry Flowers. He's charged with three counts of death by vessel and other charges stemming from that incident in October of 2000. Flowers. 60-foot yacht plowed into a 20-foot boat just off Long Beach Island, killing three men and seriously injuring a fourth. I hate the Wild serious weekend, talk. guys. Um, St. Louis Cardinal pitcher Daryl Kyle. What the heck happened there? 33-year-old uh, pitcher for the Cardinals dies suddenly over the weekend. Now, the preliminary autopsy results are, and they're seeing hardening of the arteries. Yeah, and no it's symptoms. Like 80, 90 percent blockage. And his first symptom was sudden death. How they, is uh, that? I, I, I don't know. You know, they, I was talking with uh, Pal earlier about it, and he said, you know, you remember uh, marathoner Jim Fix 
drop dead while running. The guy was in tip top shape. Right. So unbelievable. It's amazing. Uh, amazing. That's just tragic news. <laughs> Hard to believe. For those of you here on the Jersey Shore, you were getting your news from a man who would later break news that he unclogged the toilet with his hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about that for perspective? Glad, glad we got out of that. <laughs>